Hello everyone, myself Siddhant and this video we will see how to fetch a huge data from database with the help of a pagination concept. Okay. Instead of fetching uh, lakhs and thousands of records from the database, what if we do that, um, our mule application might crash. Uh, that is, it may run out of uh, Java heap memory. Okay. In order to avoid such issues, we're going to fetch the data from the database in the form of a batches. Okay. Uh, so we, the, we're going to implement that with the help of uh, the concept called pagination. Okay. For example, if we have uh, like uh, 10,000 records in the database, and instead of fetching directly the 10,000, like select star from employees, instead of that, what we're going to do is uh, for, first we will fetch the 2,000 records and process it and reiterate back to the same flow again, call the database to fetch next 2,000 records. Okay, again, reiterate and call the next 2,000 to and call to fetch the next 2,000 records. We're going to do until all the records been fetched successfully from the database. Okay, in this way, we're going to reduce the load to the application and we're going to achieve the goal okay if you are using uh, your database as mysql we have two parameters we can use that is limit and offset what limit is that it will tell you how many records to be fetched when you are executing a query okay offset will tell you from which record you want to fetch the total fetch the records for example, if offset is equal to 500 and limit is equal to 200, then when you're going to execute a query, select star from employees where limit is equal to 200 and offset is equal to 500, then it will fetch uh, from 500 the record, the next 200 record, that is 500 to 700 to 700 the record, it will going to fetch it. Similarly, if you're going to use Oracle database, you have two parameters similarly like limit which is common next we have fetch next which is a, just a replacement for offset okay so we're gonna take help of these two parameters so in this session we're gonna design a mule application i'm gonna show you a design which is much more reliable okay if, to achieve this goal welcome back to this application okay so just we have a source trigger nothing but a scheduler we can it can be anything okay and when once we get a source a trigger we're gonna publish it to the vmq okay once we get a, a published vmq we have a listener here okay once we get the listener okay so before that in order to maintain the process maintain the consistency we have a created a variable called transaction id where we are sending as a payload you okay okay so that uh, if you're going to see any logs in uh, splunk or anywhere else we can easily track it okay so we got, we get the list we, we get the uh, payload through a listener and we are uh, retrieving a value called offset value if first time when we're gonna trigger this, the offset value will be null. That's why the default value will be zero. Okay, and we have created a. We go if you go to the advanced tab, we have set the same same name as a variable here. So what is the payload? Payload is nothing but the default value is zero, right? So the we so once this retrieve is, gets executed, we get a we generate a variable called offset value, whose value is nothing but a zero, okay? And we're gonna in call a database. Before calling a database, here we have set a variable called a limit and we have given us thousand records, thousand, okay? You may externalize this value in a property file. So when required, you may change it and retrieve that amount of records, okay? While well, you are doing a load test all and all, okay? So uh, I'm gonna call this database, simple query, we have provided these parameters called offset is equal to, to nothing but bastard offset, which we get from the retrieve object store after retrieving from the object store. Initially, first time, if you're triggering this, it is zero and limit is, uh, as I mentioned here, it is thousand, the limit will be thousand. So we will get the records from zero to record to next thousand records, we're gonna get it. And we have a choice condition. 
first one if we just see the choice condition we are checking if the payload is not empty yes payload is not empty and we are checking the size of a payload what is the size of payload obviously it will be thousand right and this thousand is equal to the limit watch we have provided or not it means we have got the thousand records and first time and it will execute this one the upper part okay in the logger we are printing the what is it from which record we are we are retrieving the values and the total records fetched so to, to maintain the so it will be help us to helping us to track okay and then uh, we are normally whatever the business operation you want to perform with the records you want you have fetched from the database you can do that okay simply i'm i'm here converting a incoming uh, from data from the database to a uh, salesforce input and creating a job into the salesforce okay once it is completed then i'm going to store the value of the offset updated offset value so initially first time when i receive the trigger it is zero now i'm storing the value zero plus what is the limit we have set is thousand so now the offset value will be thousand right thousand again we are calling a vm publish so we are publishing to the same queue back again okay you, you just take a notice here that the queue name all everywhere is same so what will happen if we publish the same queue again it will reiterate back to the same flow again okay and as we know so in so in, in the publish also you have to send the same transaction id okay which we got which you got here right we can store it in a, sorry i have to store it in a variable transaction id and i have to publish it to the same queue again okay so in this way you can maintain maintain the consistency here okay again you are publishing back to the same queue again now the, obviously the limit will be constant because we're not gonna be we, we need or we need to fetch always thousand thousand records right okay then we're gonna retrieve it now what will be the offset value offset value will be thousand now because here we have stored we have incremented the offset value the key zero plus thousand thousand right so when you are retrieving it is now thousand now it won't come as default value now because there is some data inside inside an object store for this particular key that's why so now offset value will be thousand the variable right a thousand it will be now we're gonna call the select star for employees this query will get executed now offset is nothing but thousand and limit is thousand so output of this query will be the data of, of thousandth record to next thousand records okay again it will check if at all the uh, not equal to empty yes it is not equal to empty size of payload is same okay if it is same okay then it will execute the first one for example if we have in the database we have 1500 records if at all in the database we have 1500 records then when we're doing a second iteration it won't fetch it won't be able to fetch thousand records right because there will be only 500 records left because here we are giving thousandth record to next thousand records and in this phase we have only 500 records left in the database that's why the first uh, choice condition won't get executed it will go to the second choice condition so you know, here we are checking the payload is not empty yes it is not empty and size of a payload what is the size of a payload now 500 yes 500 is less than limit what is it limit now thousand 500 is less than limit yes so if this condition gets uh, true it will go to the second choice condition and this flow will get second choice condition will get executed so this means what that we don't have any more records left this is the last iteration we are doing it's a it's simple logic right if you think uh, because there are only 1500 records last time when they're doing iteration we got only 500 records it means this is the end of the end of there are no more records available if okay if if there if it would have been 2000 records then it would have gone to the first flow again we would have reiterated it again we would have checked it because since it is th less than the limit it means that we don't have any more records from the in the database we're gonna go to the second choice condition and simply we are forming a again a, a salesforce input and creating a bulk job here again we but what we are doing is we are clearing the object store 
okay what are the values we have stored we have stored it right? the offset value we are gonna clear it okay and we no more gonna reiterate it there's not required because this is the last iteration we came to know okay simply here we are logging here what is offset value what is the total records fetched here from this you can come to know this is the last record as well okay for suppose uh, uh, you have no more records in the database no records it means zeroth record zero no records got empty did empty output then it will go to the default condition again we are clearing the object store okay then okay why because uh, if a new transaction comes again when the scheduler new scheduler runs or it can be any new trigger comes new source someone is triggering this source then it will again it will come from the beginning from the again it will retrieve the offset value is zero okay it will keep on keep on doing the process okay so this is a help this is the very good advantage take an advantage and implement uh, the concept of pagination here you might have a doubt why we have kept a bmqs why not any flow reference itself okay what will happen if we keep flow reference so instead of vm listener i kept uh, uh, i can i can publish it to the same uh, flow again it uh, isn't it okay i can remove the listener instead of publish i can keep flow reference will refer to the same flow name called pagination which will keep on iterating it but what will happen uh, is that uh, we have a lim so it will block your threads it won't release it won't not release your threads and maximum reiteration is 16 times i believe uh, 16 times you cannot do more than that if you do then your uh, you'll your your uh, uh, application will throw an error okay and this is very this will be a very bad uh, example as well okay it will gonna block your threads so, so that's that's the reason why we have uh, used a uh, vmqs okay we okay you got got it right okay also this design is very much reliable if you have any questions or any doubt when you are going to implement this you can just put a comment or you can do a whatsapp to me uh, i'm going to show uh, i'll be willing to uh, help okay you can do more um, on top of it um, good error handling i have not provided uh, here so uh, you if you have any doubts you can directly ping me okay uh, thank you all